Hello again, and back to day eight. Uh, and it was making me think, how how is there still so many Brontos? Yeah, I'll get that explored right in a sec. I wanted to find a good level PT and then use that explorer note to gain some levels, but I just couldn't find a good level. And by good level, I mean high enough level. I was looking for at least level 40 or up. I went and leveled up all of my tames. I took Sarah and Teresa too to do some leveling up, but then <laughs> something bad happened. Oh yeah, and Perry was there as well. Trees have both died. They actually accidentally hit something they weren't meant to. So, with losing my PT and Perry, I thought, how can things get worse? Oh, it does. <laughs> it wasn't the worst that you were expecting. You thought I was going to get my tames killed again. No, it was just that the Triceratops only gave me very little keratin. And I needed keratin or chitin to make a PT saddle. And at this rate, it was going very, very slow. I decided to venture out into the water and I found Ixie stuck in a rock. And I thought, oh, perfect, I can try and tame this little one. Also, when I say venture out into the water, I mean just like the shallow parts near the island. I was not going out into the deep. No way. Who do you think I am? I thought everything was all good, but then somehow this ichthy unstuck himself, and I thought, mm, since you're still in shallow waters, I can just come a little bit out, try and feed you, but I'm not going to chase you. And then this happened, and trust me, it scared the absolute shit out of me. No, I never want to go to the ocean again. <sighs> Not over exaggerating, but I literally wanted to pee myself in that moment. Don't worry, I didn't. But I was close. Okay, if I didn't go to the toilet before, I think I actually would have pissed myself just then. Alright, I wasn't ready for that motherfucker to come at me. Come on, this time I'm ready. I don't know where my newfound confidence came from, but like, I had a crossbow and narcotic arrows so i thought <laughs> maybe i can get myself a megalodon and then i start shooting myself again <laughs> Like... 
Okay, I really don't. I, I don't want to do it. Oh, shut the fuck up. Shut up, okay. Oh, what's the high level, too? Shut up, I'm not crying. <gasps> Wait, I can't remember. Was I actually crying here? Or like, I think I might have been like laughing at myself and then starting <laughs> to cry from laughing. Because <laughs> I was, it really did scare the shit out of me. I also started leveling this PT as well. I think I then found like another PT right next to it and then started taming that one too. Man. Oh. Which one? That one. We need the female. Yes. We call it Teresa. Teehee. And then I did this. Oh. Get that away from my fucking... No, I swear to god. Get away. Get away. Get away from my tame. I don't even care. Come on. Get away from my tame. I brought them to my Bronto. My Bronto sorted them out. Okay. I think this is like Teresa number three. Oh! Can I call this one hit? Sorry, I must have killed your mum. Mother! She can. Get up! Yeah, anyone that's seen that film, you know it crushed you. You know that scene crushed you. Okay. Now, little Maggie, there they Where's the box? Hey, little Meg. Um. It's kind of like Maggie, but Meg. You get it. Oh wait, did I find it right here? Hey. Possessing the appearance of a half duck, half dinosaur, Hesperonis is a medium-sized fish-eating bird, common in the rivers and lakes of the island. It would be about two-thirds the height of a human if it stood tall, but it rarely does. Hesperonis spends most of its time gliding along the surface of the water, where it is much more maneuverable. Hesperonis is barely a threat to any land-dwelling creature. And that was it for day eight. I forgot to add that at the end of day eight, I was going around to all my animals, leveling them all up. I changed in the settings that I could increase their movement speed. So as you can see, movement speed is now in the specs. <laughs> day nine, I started off with murdering a lot of dinosaurs and i went and saw i killed a trilobite i hadn't seen any trilobites on the island that i am on before and i was like wait that's perfect for chitin or uh, keratin i looked everywhere around this area i could not find the trilobite so i was getting out more brontos and then i wanted to get out as many triceratops to get more keratin I finally had enough and I made my PT saddle and I started loading up all of my tames on the raft that I could fit and then I had the great idea that they would, the rest of them would follow me through the shallow waters. Alright. Sticking to the shallows.
Just gonna wait here for a second for everyone to catch up. I was like, what the fuck was that? I think that was just Sarah. I will go follow all and make them all come to the island. Ooh, explore now. Stegosaurus regium has approximately 16 paired rows of plates along its back, flanked by another smaller pair of six plates. This is contrary to the alternating rows on Stegosaurus fossils I've seen in museums. There was a drop here, but it was shite. Also, if you're wondering, where are all your belongings? Did you even grab everything from the house? Don't worry, I grabbed everything from my little shack, and I put all of my belongings into Bronte's inventory. <laughs> so, I can't let her die. <laughs> the PTs and Sarah are also carrying some stuff as well. So, they are carrying some cargo as well. See so, yeah. You can see the pearls, the rest of the keratin that I had. Now, I had to make a tough decision on where the heck do I go now. I wanted to move to the main island and find my next place to start a base, but I had no idea where to go. So I started going down this river channel here that goes through the island, and I had all my slower ones behind me, so I had to make sure that they didn't get stuck on anything and get them with the rest of the crowd up here. Jeez. <laughs> I looked online to find some good base spots to have on the island where you're close to other materials, usually like where you're close to the materials you need, like, to make electronics, you need, like, get crystal, keratin, chitin, all that good stuff. Also, I need dams as well, so that I can get lots of cementing paste. Is that a spiner? Oh, I really want one of those. I made a dingy-ass trap for the spino. It was obviously too small as well, but I just did not have the materials and the weight size to carry everything so I just started shooting the spino and hoping for the best with my trank arrows and I just wasn't getting his attention even though I was shooting him he had his um attention killing other dinosaurs and then the spino started attacking two brontos and I just knew that bitch gonna die now okay no 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 And then another Bronto jumped in, so I was like, that Spino's on his own now. And then these motherfuckers rolled up on me, and so I had to kill them. Run, Patrick, run. That's so pretty. So back on my quest to find a new base spot and 
this this gets a bit tricky and a bit crazy in a little bit. It's a little spooky. I realised I was running into swamp creatures, so I did a little bit of a U-turn and started going back up more into the hillside. The painted Yay. sharks have treated me like I'm the bloody queen since I showed them Rockwell's letter of recommendation. I don't think I've eaten better in my entire time on the island. Not that it's a high bar. I'm a horrible cook. <laughs> oh, and they've been of tremendous help with my research, of course. Okay, okay. okay. So far, my estimates of the predator-prey balance are consistent with the ecosystems on the mainland. The water is simply teeming with shoals of megalodons, and they are extremely aggressive. Perhaps that's a side effect of having limited prey. Sharks aren't known as territorial creatures. Huh. I'll have to study them further. Um, the trails are going this way. So the look this clock. This is where shit hits the fan. Oh, my time's died. Teresa 3 had shit on her. I couldn't find my PT's body and they were the one holding the saddle and I wanted to cry because I, I spent all that time, you know, staying on the safe island and trying to get keratin to make sure that I had a saddle so that I could fly away if need be. <laughs> and I lost it. I'm so short, I can't see above the damn ground. Crystal. 
my gosh, I can Okay, can we all be um, neutral for a second? I need one of these. He's a level 7, but like, better than nothing. And the early morning of day 10, I spent making sure that the Anko tamed, and I named him Angelo. And we're going to stop for right there for this video. It only gets worse. <laughs> oh, the pain that I experience in the next couple of days on the island is tragic. Can't wait for you to watch it. <laughs>